Good morning and welcome to another video. I am enjoying the beautiful scenery here in the Netherlands. As you can see, it's really nice. It's early in the morning, half past seven. I'm going to work, but I wanted to show you something and I wanted to tell you something. So before you are hitting that unsubscribe button, um, please bear with me, but I can tell you right now, I've sold the V100 Mandela S. I'm sorry, I did it and it was one of the most hardest things to sell in my life until now but I think I'm quite happy with the result and I've also got a new bike and I'm going to show you that bike right now so you're probably thinking okay why is he doing this why did he buy a Kawasaki Z900 RS and sold this beautiful Modiguchi Mandelo and so yeah you're probably thinking okay I'm going to hit that unsubscribe button as soon as possible because I hate this guy um, please don't please bear with me I'm still a Modiguchi lover I still have the 1200 Sport but yeah I also have this bike right now and I've saved up some cash so I can invest that in the house or maybe buy another bike or maybe I'm going to buy a Fijano Mandela again I'm not sure we'll see but this is the candy tone blue Z900 RS I'm going to tell you all about that in a separate video uh, but let's do a little quick overview beautiful color really nice bike to ride of course not comparable comparable to the V100 Mandela because that one was still uh, more of a touring bike this one is a pure naked bike I'm loving it yeah let's make some shots it's beautiful beautiful yeah but let me tell you all about the reason why I've sold the bike and um, why I hope it's the right decision so join me on a nice ride to work turn off my camera join me on a nice ride to work and I will tell you all about it so let's go Oh, there we go already. So nice bike. Um, I'm avoiding nice bike ride to work. I'm avoiding the highways today because I do have the time. It's a it's a ride of 46 kilometers, and I'm not asking you to join me the whole ride, of course, but because otherwise it will be a very long video but yeah let me tell you uh, not about the reason why I've sold the Vion Mandela S but I think you should watch my other video uh, in short it's because I needed some money needed some cash for the renovations of my house and um, fortunately I think eventually maybe the extra cash is not needed but that, me that doesn't mean that I've sold look at this beautiful so maybe you should make some pictures at the end of the day but these are the famous Dutch tulips but yeah um, what I was saying uh, yeah maybe it's not needed but I did sell the bike anyway because I've got a reaction in my video uh, the last video that I was talking about selling the bike and 
someone wanted to buy it so he contacted me on uh, contacted me on Instagram and he was really really excited about the bike um, and he, uh, yeah, he wanted to make a deal so I was like okay I'm, I'm still a little bit in doubt um, but yeah come on over and we'll see if we can make it work I have lowered my asking price of quite a lot uh, because I'm sorry guys I've already bought this bike um, for uh, uh, after I posted the video uh, but not uh, not before uh, so I bought this bike afterwards I bought candy tone blue not the brown one because yeah I really like this color more and um, it was cheaper so that means that I could save up a little bit of extra cash but yeah now happy owner of the Kawasaki Z900RS but I'm also really sad that the V100 is gone but back to the one uh, the guy that uh, was buying uh, my bike it was an, uh, was an older guy uh, but uh, had a really young spirit and um, he, yeah he wanted a bike he wanted to have a Gucci in his lifetime it should be his last bike he said so i was uh, i was triggered by his uh, story and i was like okay if you're going to choose a last bike uh, to ride until you're 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 not able or, or not allowed or anything to ride anymore i think this is the best choice the viana modelo s and uh, so uh, uh, we made a deal he bought some accessories from me also and um, yeah. A couple of days later he should uh, pick it up and that's that so uh, I was riding the next day on the Monday I think uh, so he, he came on Saturday so two days later I was riding and I was um, yeah I was quite in the mood of not selling the bike because I was really really in doubt if he should sell this bike uh, or if I should sell the Vion. Not that I'm not happy with this bike, I'm absolutely um, glad to be back at the Z900, but um, yeah, the Vion is just, just so good. I was really, really loving that bike at that last ride. So, almost at the last moment, I've cancelled uh, my, my, uh, the deal. Uh, but afterwards I thought, okay, why not? If I'm going to, uh, if I don't need the money, hopefully, we'll see. I can buy anything else. I can uh, I can buy a normal V100 because I also like non-S version. Uh, but I can also buy anything else. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know it, the bike, the V100 has a little bit of story with me. I've unpacked it. I've done a lot of mods to it, so it was quite dear to me. But still. As you may probably know, I'm not the person who gets attached to things. So I really like buying new things and expensive things, but I'm not attached to it. So I can easily get rid of them. But this one was a little bit harder than normal. But still, yeah, on the Z900 RS, and I'm absolutely happy with this bike. It is as good as expected. I do have some little plans with it, but that will only happen uh, when some companies are joining me on this journey or I'm saving enough, uh, saving enough money to, yeah, to do uh, to do what I do, to do uh, to change a lot of things in this bike, new tires, um, uh, a couple of extras, maybe new new uh, suspension and that kind of stuff. But it's not needed because it's a really good bike out of the box. But still, it can even be better. And yeah, this bike is a little bit lighter than the V100. It's easier to manage, especially with this good weather. It's a really nice bike. If the weather gets a little bit bad, the V100 is absolutely a better bike. Um, well, this one is also really nice and gives you a lot of um, yeah, nice things. So yeah, that's it. So I've sold the V100 Manila S. You got the reveal. I will make a separate video about the Z900. What are the options? Um, and uh, not why did I buy it, but what I'm going to do with it and that kind of stuff but um, yeah so hopefully you are not unsubscribed by now because of my long story or because of the reason that I've sold my V100 uh, S 
a lot of people also said that yeah I'm going to miss the character and I do agree I think the V100 has a lot more character than the Z900 but I also have the 1200 Sport so the Mandelo I'm uh, oh, sorry not the Mandelo just the 1200 Sport and that bike has more character than both bikes combined so the bike is still in the garage I'm still uh, repairing it I've ordered a new uh, fuel hose and I'm going to install that and yeah then it's done then the bike is finished almost I need to powder coat some stuff but that's not necessarily to uh, ride the bike and then I'm going to see what happens maybe I sell it eventually and buy a V100 back or something like that another, another Moriguchi but I'm trying to do my best to have a Moriguchi in the stable because I really really love the brand as you've seen in other videos maybe if I agree so I'm not sure but yeah I think the 1200 Sport is a really good bike for doing commuting so when the weather is a little bit more bad install some heated grips install some cases on the back maybe something from Hapcom Becker and I think I have a really nice bike so yeah so please don't just unsubscribe uh, stay tuned for more thank you for watching and if you like this video or if you hated my decision maybe then also like the video and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye if you want to see my newest video tap here if you want to see my recommended video for you tap here and if you want to subscribe tap here thanks for watching tap here tap here tap here